a really like long running theme through my, my entire life and um, in my work has been my relationship to place and landscape. And part of that comes from growing up being um, kind of just grow up growing up being a mixed kid and you know sometimes being in California and sometimes being in Hawaii where my mom's family was and then being on the mainland where I often felt like very much like an outsider. And so I was always really kind of searching for a place that felt like um, home. I don't know when I was growing up that I thought that this would become part of my practice, but it has become so deeply integrated into who I am, how I experience the world, how I try to listen to other stories, and how that kind of relational experience becomes um, embedded. Over the years, I began to find that the tool of um, picture making for me became more of a narrative storytelling that could only be my own story, which is why almost all my work centers around something around my own experience. Um, and I think that's partially just the personal decision of knowing that's the most honest place I can make work from. This particular work is, a, I, I feel like, is the most um, personal work I've ever made. It's a work that I felt like I've been really guided to make. My father had bec been becoming progressively ill and um, I took some time off to go and stay with him in Seattle with my mother and we led him through a um, hospice, a time through hospice. So he stayed at home while we took care of him and he um, passed away in summer in July of 2015. There's a festival called Obon and it's, um, it's a little bit like a Day of the Dead, like a Dia de los Muertos, this idea of when the veil between the living and the deceased is very thin. One of the traditions around Obon is the releasing of the toba. I asked my mother and sister, can we send a boat um, for my father? And they agreed. We went to Hawaii and on the morning of Obon, we found the beach that I would like to send the boat from. And right when the sun rose, we released the boat. So I often think of this work as it's some place between ritual and performance, like there's a a little bit of a performative element because we know the camera is there, but it's actually the, the ceremony that becomes the most important thing and the camera is there documenting that. When putting Hatsubon together, the, the kind of three elements that are running throughout it are the um, three geographic sites of water. There's Pennsylvania, his birthplace, um, then California coast where um, my parents met where I was born, and then Hawaii. So sometimes the act of making is really private, but I think ultimately it is for the dialogue that you have in conversation with others. Um, and so maybe sharing your story helps others think about their own or think about their own ways that they might, um, I guess, give voice to the things that they're thinking about, whether that's personal or political or social, or they want to you know, say something critical.